The number one complaint, frustration, comment that I hear from people that follow me on social media is I don't have a large following, so I can't make any money online. Well, in this video, I'm going to do two things. One, I'm going to explain why that's not the case and how you can actually ensure that you do make money online and seven ways that you can actually make money online starting as soon as this weekend. So if you were sitting on the wall, sitting on the fence about making money online because you don't have this huge following, watch this entire video because I think it's gonna be pretty eye-opening and enlightening and will actually motivate you to get up and running. Hello, my name is Alston Godbolt with AlstonGodbolt.com and as a full-time internet marketer, I have made money in all sorts of ways. If you want real affiliate marketing and make money online tips, tricks, and tactics, be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to be notified when I upload a brand new video. All right, so like I said, the number one frustration that I see and hear all the time is I can't get started because it's too competitive. I can't get started because I don't have a mega million billion followers. First, I want to show you my accounts here. I'm actually a small YouTuber. I'm a small TikToker. If we look on my Instagram page right here, I have 789 followers. I have almost 9,000 posts and I only have 789 followers. If we look at my Pinterest page here, I only have 4,000 followers. I have 154,000 monthly, monthly views, which is really important and, and the key to everything, but I only have 4,000 followers. If we look at my TikTok account, I only have have uh, 47,000 followers. There are people in my space and in my niche that have almost 100,000, 200,000, close to a million followers and subscribers. And so what I want to do is I want to talk to you about a little bit why the following count doesn't matter. What really matters is for you just to create, create content, the types of content you should create. So let's go ahead and, and talk about this. The following count doesn't matter at all. I could have a million followers, but if no one's clicking and buying, I might as well have zero followers. What ultimately matters is that you create content that resonates and connects with your target audience. What you wanna do is figure out what your target audience wants to know, teach them that, and then offer them something in exchange to get their email address. And so one of the most important things for my business and, and should be for your business is to start email marketing. Regardless of the size that you have, when you start email marketing, that allows you to better connect with your target audience, to make money, and to make even more money selling them more things that they need. So what I recommend that you do if you're not doing email marketing is to start doing email marketing today. And email marketing really consists of four parts. It consists of a landing page, a lead magnet, autoresponder, and a broadcast um, email. So let's talk about each one of those parts really quickly. A landing page is simply a page that you're going to create to collect emails. When people click on your link, it's going to take them to a website that has a very basic message. Do you want to learn X within Y without Z? A very basic template that you can follow. If they click yes, they're going to enter in their name and their email address, and you're going to give them something and exchange what's called a lead magnet. A lead magnet is simply a guide. It can be a a, a PDF, it can be a training that you put together, it can be audio, it, it doesn't really matter. But it's going to be something that helps your target audience solve a micro problem. And once you have their email, you can send emails to them daily or as frequently as you want using something called an autoresponder. An autoresponder is going to be a pre-designed email sequence that you set up ahead of time and gets sent to your email subscribers automatically. Now that autoresponder can be something like re-engaging them to check out more of your content, to buy products that you recommend or buy products that you create. And then finally, you have a broadcast email. A broadcast email is a one-off email that you send out to your email subscribers when you have new information. Maybe you wanna do a flash sale. Anytime you just wanna reconnect with them, you can send out a broadcast email. And so if you are small, if you have no subscribers, no following, I recommend that you get started with email marketing right away to condition your target audience to um, start seeing more of you. Email marketing really is going to be the most crucial part of your business, especially if you're small. If you are a large mega influencer, you don't have to do email marketing because there are going to be a group of people that buy regardless of what you say and what you do. But if you're tiny, you wanna start email marketing today. So that's step number one. So step two is to come up with an effective content strategy. That content strategy is going to be based on what your target audience wants and needs are. For example, you're here and you wanna learn how to make money online with social media. I can create content to help solve that problem. Three tips to make money online with social media. Three ways to get more subscribers so that you can make more money. I'm going to go out, create those different 
pieces of content and then draw you in and then tell you to get more information by clicking the link in the bio. When they click the link in the bio, it's going to take us, take them to our landing page that we created. We're going to offer that lead magnet in exchange for their email address. And just like that, we've started email marketing. So what I recommend that you do is spend a lot of time trying to figure out exactly what your customers wants and needs are. In fact, once you start getting, generating emails, you can ask them, what are your wants? What are your needs? And that's going to help you make better content. It's going to help with your content strategy. Another thing that you can do is you can follow other people in your space. For example, if you're in the basket weaving space, you can follow a ton of basket weavers and see what's working for them. Don't copy them because nobody likes a copycat, but figure out what works for them. And then you can go out and create content in a similar fashion. For example, if you're in the basket weaving space, and what works really well is someone weaving baskets while talking about a problem, you might wanna do something similar to that. And so create a, an effective content strategy, figure out how many uploads you want to uh, upload per day. Um, I recommend the very beginning, the more the better. So if you can upload five videos per day, that's going to give you five opportunities to get shown to a wide variety of people. Another effective content strategy is to reply to every single comment. Now in the very beginning, you're not gonna have a ton of comments and so if you reply to people that helps build a connection and a special bond so you probably will have one or two comments per day go ahead and respond to them all it'll actually make your customer or viewer feel valued and they're actually going to have a strength or stronger bond and they're going to want to follow you wherever you go so make sure that you're replying to every single uh, comment the most important thing that not a lot of people do, especially in the very beginning, is they don't show up every day. So if I had a number one tip, if you didn't wanna start email marketing, which you can start for free, if you didn't have a effective content strategy and you were just creating content, at the very least, you need to show up every single day. You need to show up every single day for people that have a problem that you can help solve. You need to show up every single day simply to let the algorithm know that you're here. And by showing up every single day, you're naturally going to get better at creating content. So show up every single day, whether you feel like it or not. One way to show up every day is to batch out your content. For example, I create all of my videos, my TikTok videos on Saturday, and then I just edit them and upload them throughout the week. So it appears that I show up every single day, even though I only create content one day a week. So now that we've talked about some effective strategies to help you gain the followers so that you can potentially make more money online, let's talk about the seven different ways that you can make money on social media. Now, number one is with affiliate marketing. Now, for me, in my opinion, affiliate marketing is the easiest and fastest way to start making money. The reason is, is the product's already created. The product is usually already well known by customers. And so you don't have to worry about some of those other time constraints like creating the product, customer service. You can just go out, find different companies that have a product that you want to promote and you can promote that product. Now the key to affiliate marketing and to make money online is you need to you need to connect a solution to a problem. For example, if I were to promote my affiliate program, I'd want to go out and help people understand different ways to make money online, how to get started with affiliate marketing. And so that is the key to affiliate marketing, connecting solutions to problems. If you don't do that, of course, nobody will buy, but that's number one. Number two, and my second favorite, is actually creating and selling digital products. Now, a digital product can be anything from an online course, a coaching program, it can be SVGs and templates, it can be blueprints and guides. There's a whole array of different things that you can create and sell. I like creating and selling digital products because you can create the product once and sell it again and again and again on an automated fashion. The drawback to physical products is you You've got to physically mail them out with a digital product you create the product and it's instantly downloaded into uh, the uh, into the buyer for the buyer now one thing that i recommend is to do not use something like etsy to sell your digital products because they're just going to take a cut from you you can create and sell your own digital products on your own if you want to learn more about that comment down below digital products and I can create a separate video showing you how to make money on social media selling your digital products. After selling digital products, you can of course sell physical products. Again, if you're a basket weaver, that's gonna be really easy. You're gonna to have to obviously collect payments, package it up and ship it out. Uh, next is selling merchandise. You can partner with a website like Teespring where they'll take care of the payment processing and sending out of the merchandise. You just need to come up with the idea. In fact, what you can do is work with someone over on Fiverr to come up with t-shirt ideas you put those t-shirt ideas onto a Teespring store and that can actually be an automated process for you as well. After selling merchandise, there's something relatively new called user generated content or UGC. If you've been on TikTok for a while, uh, recently people have been talking about UGC. That's basically where you create content for large brands. For example, I could reach out to a company like McDonald's and 
partner with them in a UGC format where I talk about their new shakes that they have coming out. That video will be uploaded to McDonald's social media profile and they will make money. So I'll get paid a one-time fee for creating this UGC content and McDonald's would get the benefit of a user creating content. It's much better than hiring paid actresses and artists. It's actually probably cheaper as well. After UGC, you can do brand deals and sponsorships. That's basically where you see in the beginning of the video where people say this video is sponsored by McDonald's. McDonald's is the greatest company in the world. Click the link in my bio to get a 20% discount on McDonald's, whatever. That's basically a brand deal or sponsorship. Those are in video promotion that you agree upon and they will pay you for it. And the final way that you can make money is to create a membership community like a Patreon or even a YouTube membership. That's going to be a special uh, connection between you and your target audience. You're gonna have to create more content, but that content will be uh, specialized to just them or anyone that pays. The cool thing with doing a, a paid community is you can start it for as little as five dollars per month now that you know how to make money online on social media click the first link in the description for my free four-step cheat sheet to make money online with products that you already own click the first link in the description or go to alstongodbolt.com forward slash start watch these videos next for more tips and tricks to make money online also check out my website alstongodbolt.com for even more tips tricks and tactics to make money online if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and share this video with five of your friends